Hey, it's been a whopping eight days since the Adam Levine cheating scandal first came to light. And today we learned Maroon 5 is kicking off a residency in Las Vegas in March. The band set to perform at least 16 shows on top of the Vegas show they have scheduled this weekend. So, Sharin, would you go see a Maroon 5 show and would you do it considering what we've learned about Adam Levine in the last week? Um, I don't, this is not my style of music. I wouldn't go to an Adam Levine show even before this scandal, but I just think he's such a piece of work that no, I would not go. Um, Adam Levine just has no shame. He's putting this scandal as if it didn't even happen. He's parading his family around like, hey, look at us. We're so happy. And did I really even cheat? You know, he's denying everything. He said, okay, I had some inappropriate text messages. So, but at the same time, I think the American culture, we separate the celebrity and the music, the celebrity and the craft so many times, and we are a forgiving culture. So I'm sure his shows will be packed. Why are we holding Adam Levine, though, to this standard like he, he is he is a deity unto himself or something like that. He is he is a, okay. Look, a he's a musician. Man like the rest he is, of them. he is but a mere mortal out there. I think we have changed our attitudes as a culture towards divorce and infidelity. And yes, it's entertainment. It's in politics. I mean, it is it has changed so much. I would say really. Um, I'm more offended the fact that people would pay money to see Maroon 5 in Las Vegas for a prolonged period of time. I used to, I, I will say some of the early stuff I liked, and then I don't know, I'm just not, in, not, not into the music anymore. Yeah, we shouldn't forgive them for the Super Bowl halftime show. How Thank about you. for that? Right. Everybody took a nap, and then America went to sleep. Nobody saw the third or the fourth quarter because of Adam Levine and Maroon 5. Who's going to pay $200, $300 now to go to Vegas and fall asleep? Nobody. Yeah. Good luck. All he's <laughs> doing is coming out on the headlines, trying to somewhat cover up all the bad press that he's had in the last couple of weeks. The guy was last relevant when he did The Voice how long ago? He's still doing it. Uh, yeah. Is he really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That, that goes that, to show you nobody cares. That's right. That's right. But Irrelevant. I, I think when you look at this, uh, just imagine telling somebody, sorry we couldn't go see Adele in Vegas. Here are two tickets to Maroon 5, Sarah. <laughs> Big deal. They have like so many hits. You guys don't think they're that good? I know. I like some of the early music. For I think Siesta time. No, I like the music early on. I think some of the newer stuff. I'm just not like. I just don't think that they 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 were established enough to be a Super Bowl halftime act, right. let really? alone a Vegas residency. But that's just me. I think he's a big deal. I mean, obviously, I mean, I do agree with Sharon. I think he has huge ego. I mean, I don't even think he's phased by this. I, I you know. It will help with publicity. Mm -hmm. I'd go see his show. I can't believe you guys. Wow. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. People would go see his show. I promise you it's going to be packed. I wonder if Sum yeah. Sumner's going to go I mean, see people it. People have to see anything, though. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.